I found this wall decor sign from Dollar General. It was $3. And I started by removing the top hanger and taking some white primer from Wise Owl Paint, I just covered the entire board. Once that was dry, I took some Antique Villa from Wise Owl Paint and gave it about two coats to fully cover. Now I had this picture that I took myself and I printed it off my printer on regular computer paper. I just took some scissors and I just cut the extra white border around the image off and I laid the image down and just rubbed around to get a crease in the paper. Using some Mod Podge, you want to make sure that it dries clear and this is a matte finish. I applied it using a Gen Foam brush. Now once I had a good amount of Mod Podge, I laid the image back down and I just rubbed really well. You want to make sure all of the image is pressed down into the Mod Podge. And now this is going to sit overnight. Now the next day I took a bowl of water and a washcloth and I wet the tip of the washcloth and I rubbed it over the paper. Now you don't want to rub too hard but you want to rub a decent amount so the paper gets wet and kind of rolls off. Now it comes off pretty easily and the ink from the paper has dried to the Mod Podge. And as you wipe, you can see that there are some areas where the ink did not want to stick or it rubs off too much. Now you can either just leave it and just make it more of a rustic style or if it bothers you, you can print another picture and you can patch up the areas that came off. And you're just going to place the Mod Podge where you want the image to stick to. So that's what I did here. And then I wanted to add more of the sky, so I did that as well. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to apply the Mod Podge where you want the image to transfer. And when it's completely dry, I would let it sit overnight and you're going to take your washcloth and water and remove the paper again. And now this is what it looks like after I patched up that area. Next I took some Wise Owl varnish and a Gen Foam brush and I just went over the entire image to seal it. I had some artificial greenery that I put at the top here and then I took a artificial succulent and put it in the center there. I tied the twine back at the top and now you just have this nice farmhouse wall decor. And you guys, you could do this with any image that you have of your own. And I love this image so much that I wanted to show it on another product that we found. There are these canvas laminated sheets that we get right from Walmart. And you can put them right through your printer. And I just printed this image on one. And then I just cut the image out. Now I needed to make the image a little smaller so it fit inside the frame I'm going to be using. Now I grabbed this frame from Dollar General, it was $3.50 and it had the chicken wire in the back. And I basically just took some hot glue and there's a little lip on the inside of the frame and I glued the canvas right to that. And then I did the same thing with the bottom part of the canvas. I added the hot glue and just adhered it to the bottom lip. And then I took a small burlap bow that I had and I glued it into the top left corner of the frame. And then I had an artificial flower that I put in the center there. And now this is just a, another cute way to display a nice image that you photograph yourself. 
Guys, thank you so much for watching. Paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com and you can check out some of our other tutorials over on our YouTube channel. We hope you have a great day.